carbohydrates play a crucial role in a healthy balanced diet for example without carbohydrates our body will lack a key fuel source carbohydrates are the body's primary source of energy and provide about 4 calories per gram this nutrient category includes sugars starches and fiber a principal role of carbohydrate is to supply energy in the form of glucose carbohydrates are made up of units of sugar also called as saccharides classification of carbohydrate carbohydrates are usually classified into three broad categories sugars starch and fiber sugar sugar are simple carbohydrates like glucose fructose and lactose they cause a rapid rise in blood glucose level starch starch are complex carbohydrates that are composed of several molecules of glucose they cause a less rapid rise in blood glucose level fiber fiber is a non digestible complex carbohydrate undigested fiber travels through our gut and while doing so provides health benefit chemical classification of carbohydrate the chemical classification includes monosaccharide disaccharide and polysaccharides monosaccharides they are simple sugars which possess free ketone or aldehyde group example glucose fructose galactose disaccharide two monosaccharide molecules on hydrolysis gives a disaccharide example sucrose maltose lactose polysaccharide poly means many polysaccharide are compound molecules that yield more than 10 monosaccharide molecules on hydrolysis example starch dextrin cellulose pectin and glycogen functions of carbohydrates carbohydrates are also important in formation of certain amino acids carbohydrates specially play an important role in development of beneficial microorganisms enzymes in our small in- intestine functions rapidly which metabolizes sugar and send it in our blood stream for energy complex carbohydrates are potatoes peas corn which undergo numerous stages of conversion in our digestive tract before converting it into glucose sugars are quick burst of energy other energy functions includes enzyme which help glucose in our blood stream as they have immediate energy function leftover glucose converted into glycogen when glycogen stores run out we feel sluggish or tired energy some important function of energy of carbohydrates can be divided into simpler or complex simple carbohydrates are sugars natural sugars are found in fruits dairy products etc whereas added sugar are sucrose and dextrose which are seen in packed food they are high digestion of carbohydrates our bowels during digestion depend upon adequate fiber fiber include plant source like fruits and leafy vegetables soluble fiber is pliable inside part of cell wall that could hold water soluble fiber bends with water in a sources of carbohydrate starch is found in a plant seeds like cereals and legumes roots and tubers those foods are the primary energy sources in human dietary the intake of complex carbohydrate in the form of cereals dals legumes in a normal indian dietary is sufficient cereals those are the staple food in indian dietary contribute major part of the energy 
and protein and some minerals and vitamins. Dals and legumes provide significant amount of protein, iron and B vitamins in addition to energy. Potato, yam, jackfruits are roots and tubers and they are good sources of starch. Nuts and oil seeds provide large amount of energy and protein. Sugar are also the rich source of carbohydrates. Milk and milk product provide some amount of energy and large amount of proteins. In animal source, meats, chicken, egg, fish gives us large amount of energy and proteins, some minerals, iron and vitamins. Now let's talk about deficiency. What are the causes of deficiency? Complete proportion of carbohydrates is achieved from a balanced diet. If individuals daily consume foods which have less amount of carbohydrates, they may lose weight in short span of time and even they won't be more active for doing regular work. Some, some individuals skip their breakfast in morning and have lunch around 11 to 12. The gap is much higher. That is, they don't eat anything for approximately 8 hours. The blood glucose level goes down than normal. And if no glucose is consumed, glycogen which is stored in labor is broken down and converted to glucose. In absence of the availability of glucose for energy production, fats and amino acids are utilized for energy. This result. Let us talk about diseases. Ketosis. Usually, fats break down to fatty acids and glycerol. But if adequate amount of carbohydrates are not included in our diet, fat starts to break down into ketones in small amount. High formation of ketone is formed in blood and is passed through urine which is known as ketourea and the process is known as ketosis. Ketosis also results in dehydration. What are the symptoms of ketosis? Excessive thirst, stomach pain, nausea, vomiting, weakness are the symptoms. How to overcome it? Adequate intake of carbohydrates results in the prevention of ketosis. Second disease is acidosis. In carbohydrate starvation, they shift from glycolysis to lipolysis and ketogenesis for energy needs. The resultant production of keto acids increases acidity in blood and other body tissue. What are the symptoms of acidosis? Headache, increased rate of acid, increased heart rate, coma, nausea, vomiting are the symptoms of acidosis. Third disease is fatigue and decreased energy level. The non-availability of glucose in the blood for energy production results in dip in energy levels and fatigue. Toxicity Carbohydrate-rich foods are a great source of energy and many of them provide vitamins and minerals your body needs for good health. We'll take a look at some of health effects that come with overconsumption of carbs. Type 2 Diabetes Type 2 diabetes is a disorder involving high blood sugar levels. It has been linked to the overconsumption of refined carbohydrates which include white breads, pasta and many packaged snack foods. Dental caries Dental caries are cavities formed by the destruction of hard tissue of teeth. Dental caries are commonly associated with the overconsumption of refined carbs and added sugar because these are the easiest carbs for the bacteria to break down into acids. Obesity Weight gain is often blamed on carbohydrates, yet not all carbohydrates deserve this blame. The troublesome carbs when it comes to weight gain and obesity are the refined carbohydrates that have been processed and stripped of fiber. These carbs cause a rapid rise in blood glucose, which stimulates the release of insulin.